Memorial for 13 therapy horses commemorated what they gave to the Lowell community and beyond. It's been a week now since the barn for equine learning suffered a devastating fire. 24 hour news 8's Lindsay McComa was at the memorial today. She has more on the emotional service. Well, Leon, this week, those who have poured everything into the Barn for Equine Learning have experienced a wide range of emotions. There are still a lot of questions unanswered about who started the fire and why, but today focused solely on a proper goodbye for those 13 therapy horses. Dream horse, you are made of dream dust. You rear on your hind legs and paw at the sky. For me, the barn has just been a place where I can like kind of escape from all the craziness of life and just kind of decompress. And I really love sharing that with other people. 13 horses, 13 symbols of healing for people lucky enough to experience the barn for equine learning. It was a sanctuary that teaches life lessons. Lessons, as one young woman explained, other humans are not capable of teaching. You're safe here. It's totally separate. You're just yourself and you can heal and just get better. Three of the barn's volunteers spoke about coming to terms with this unimaginable loss. A lot of grieving, a lot of looking back and enjoying the memories that we have. Um, looking at pictures and seeing the pretty horses and what we've done with them and just how many people that they've actually touched. More than 100 people attended the memorial, sharing memories, laughter, and tears. You get to choose your family sometimes, and that's what this, this is. I know someday I will see you in heaven. I will be able to ride and take care of you again. <laughs> Now, deputies with the Kent County Sheriff's Office say they will likely know an exact cause of that fire by early next week. Still no word, though, on a suspect or a motive in this case. And as we've reported before, the barn was locked from the inside. Reporting in studio control, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.